What's up everybody? Just wanted to uh, make this video here to prove how bad cable sucks. Uh, we've had DirecTV. Um, I'm 23 and we bought our house. I think we uh, moved out of our parents' house when we were right around 20. And right off the bat I got DirecTV. Had it for three years now and of course having it for three years you're out of your two year contract and then the prices just kind of slowly rise. So we decided we'll give uh, I'll call it Comcast. It's Charter where I'm at, but it's the same thing as Comcast or Buckeye Cable, stuff like that. You know, they're all generally the same. Uh, got a, had a guy coming door to door because this is really the only good internet we have out here is Charter or Comcast. Uh, all the other internet's more expensive and it's a lot slower. So we went with them. It's generally all right. Uh, the speeds are usually pretty accurate, real good, but uh, it does go out quite often. Need to be reset and all that. But this video is about the cable, so uh, having Direct TV for three years, you can see my uh, my genie box right there, which kills me to just see it sitting there. Um, had it for three years. I think we lost signal one, maybe twice, once, maybe two times, and both times were in extreme weather. Like I mean, weather like I've never seen. One time was uh. It was raining so hard that our streets flooded within a few minutes. So that's very understandable. I mean, chances are you're not even gonna have power when it's coming down like that. Uh, and it was only out for, I mean, a tops of five, 10 minutes. So that's perfectly fine. You know, when it's raining like that or with the crazy weather like that, I'm looking outside or standing in the door or something anyways. So that was fine. And then uh, the second time was during the winter there was a blizzard and I mean snow was coming down so hard if you put your hand in front of you outside you couldn't see your hand so again that was another understandable time and again with that it was literally like five or ten minutes so it was not even bad uh, now our cable we have we got this installed five days ago now or today's the fifth day so if you want to say four days ago um, two days already we've lost service this it just does this just says this channel should be available shortly. Here's the box we got. It's the uh, typical Motorola DVR, the HD. Here's the remote. I'll press on demand. Ooh. Problem has occurred. Guess what? It doesn't work. So I hit exit. Nothing really happens. It wants to freeze up. Now let's hit my DVR. Oh, that's actually going to work. See if it actually plays. Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphics to Oh, well, that's cool. That actually works now. Uh, about 10 minutes ago when this started, that did not work. It just, when I hit DVR, nothing would happen. So, uh, trying to pause and play, rewind, nothing's happening. I'm hitting OK numerous times, nothing's happened. There it goes. Gotta love that slow delay. That one's not working either. So I'll come in. Sorry if you hear that snoring. That's my pug. <laughs> she loves to be uh, in the video. Oh, now it's going to hunt, meaning it can't find the signal or it's trying to download stuff. And uh, to make good this more in depth, mainly get that one. She wants to be in the video, I swear. Um, with our uh, DirecTV, we had. I think it was a one terabyte hard drive in there, the Genie. We had probably at least 35 to 40 movies recorded and probably 20 to 30 episodes of TV shows, anywhere from a half hour to an hour. And we still had over 20% available. With this DVR, I've got six like 20 minute episodes of a show and one short movie. So, oh, well, that's two hours, I guess, okay. And it's already 12% full. I mean, that is, in this day and age, if, I mean, there's just me and my girlfriend living here, so I, it's not terrible. But uh, in this day and age, most families have th two, three, four kids. You got the wife, the husband. I mean, that's that space is ridiculous. That's absurd. And uh, the lack of whole home DVR is a joke. It's 2015. The technology's out there. This is stupid. With that one, I could be up in my bedroom, 
with, I mean, there was a little tiny box we had in our bedroom. It was like the size of a DVD case, maybe. Real slim, real small, you know, easy to hide. But uh, that was like a remote for this. Like, this one receiver gave every room in our house. Oh, look at that. It's going to work now. But, uh, and that quality is terrible. But, uh, with our direct TV, we had a whole home DVR. Any room in the house, well, DVR downstairs, you could pause, rewind, and all that stuff, live TV. Upstairs, you couldn't do that, but you could record, and you could also play back from the DVR. So anything, like if I was down here, and I wanted to record this show, if I hit record right now, it would be recording, and then I could go upstairs and watch that recording, even though it's down here. And vice versa, like, I could watch, say I was recording, uh, like, Impractical Jokers, that's one of our favorite shows. Say... I was down here watching it, girlfriend wanted to go upstairs and lay down and watch it. We could both watch it at the same time at different, you know, like, parts through the show or whatever. With DVR down like this, you can only watch it down here, you can only record it down here, and uh, like if you're watching something on demand, it has to be stopped down here to watch it upstairs. So like if you got kids or something, and you guys all want to watch the same thing but go lay down or something, that's not going to work. The worst thing about it is the fact that I can only record two things at once and if I'm recording two things one of them has to be on this channel so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit record on this let me hit cable here see so we're gonna hit record on that and then let's go to unique suites right here so you can see the little record lights on now I'm gonna hit record on this I like this show uh, but my other shows come on let's see Oh, I can't watch it because I'm recording two things. That is so outdated and just obsolete, it's not even funny. But, actually, let me retract that statement I said. This guide is even worse than the only record two things at once and have to be watching one of them. This guide is so outdated, ugly, old, and blocky, it's not even funny. Like, this guide alone right here makes me want DirecTV. Like, besides the quality difference and the reliability, this guide is like a deal breaker. We're literally only keeping this right now for a few months just to, uh, they're bumping our internet speed up to 100 megabytes for free if we keep this for a minute. So that's pretty much the only reason. Then we're gonna start a new contract with DirecTV because this stuff is terrible. So that guide is terrible. There's ads all over it. You know, I'm trying to scroll through it. I gotta hit these stupid ads. It's so big and oversized that you can't even read stuff. You have to actually click on it and then see what it's about. Oh, no, nope, don't want to watch that. I had to waste my time. Um, let's see, what else? This remote, I think it's set up, sucks. There's nothing to like differentiate the buttons like until you're used to it, I guess. It just, I'm not comfortable with it yet. The guide is real small, the menu's real small. Um, let's talk about that too. I got a 65 inch TV and I got 10 inches on either side that don't actually do anything with a guide. I actually just figured out how to get it to zoom like that. Because most HD stuff, it cuts off the side or it makes it real small. On demand on cable is better, I'll admit that, but. I so very seldomly even use on demand that it's not even a big deal. Hmm, let's do. I don't know, we'll click catfish, I guess. Let's see if it's small like everything else. Yeah, see, look at that. <clears throat> I've got a 65 inch TV. And when I'm watching anything on demand, it's maybe like 38 to 42 inches. I mean, that's just ridiculous. And you probably can't see it through the screen, through the camera, but this quality is awful. It's so blotchy and blurry. So cable might break, cable, cable, sorry. Cable might brag about having better on demand, but the quality is a joke. Anybody who's, even my girlfriend who wouldn't, I went from a 50 inch TV to this 65 and she cares so little about you know video quality and stuff 
she couldn't even tell the difference. She's like, I don't, is it bigger or, you know. But even when she saw this, she's like, oh my God, that looks terrible. So that was like, oh my God, we gotta go back soon. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. That's really all I can think of. Um, I don't work for DirecTV, I work at Johnson Controls. I just have a, even though I didn't like the pricing, which is the reason why we temporarily dropped it, it's worth every penny. Because cable is a joke, it sucks. Let me just do a show you how clear and sunny it is outside. This is right outside my house. Just to show you that it's not raining, there's no extreme weather, there's nothing. And you've seen it was out. And it was out for at least a half hour before that because I started cutting my lawn and it was doing it before then too. And it finally just came back on during this video. Uh, yeah, hopefully this uh, helps somebody make their decision about what to go with. Um, I guess a little bit more I can add. Um, my mom has had Charter. This is Charter. It's Comcast, like I already said. Charter, Comcast, Buckeye, it's pretty much all the same. Um, but this is Charter. Uh, my mom had it. My girlfriend's parents had it. Um, my uncle has had it. Numerous family members have had it, and it's always the same problems. Like, my girlfriend's parents, for the longest time, when they would click on demand, it would give them an error on every single TV, except for one. And even on that one, it would just freeze up. So they got new boxes, they got a, some kind of like signal booster because they had like four boxes and the guy was like, oh, well, it's because you got a weak signal. I mean, I don't know how you have a weak signal when it's directly wired into the system. A weak signal would make sense on satellite because it's all wireless, but not on a direct, you know, a directly wired cable box. So that still didn't fix the issue. So it was definitely something on their end. Um, same problems, their stuff always goes out. It'll start, you'll be watching TV and the sound will start skipping. It'll look like a scratch DVD. Like it skips literally like a scratch movie. Uh, same thing at my mom's house. Um, she didn't have the on-demand problems, but it would be clear as day, it would go out. Light rain, it would go out. Uh, same thing with my uncle. And then uh, my mom right now has Dish Network, I think, which she likes. I think she just got a better deal on that. Um, but uh, she doesn't have any problems with that. I don't know about it by experience. I just I never really cared for it growing up. I just like the way DirecTV looks better. Um, but again, that's personal choice. That's not from experience. But uh, my uncle has DirecTV. I have well, I had DirecTV. My mom's had DirecTV. Uh, she got rid of it for the same reason I did. We moved, and it was just at the time. I think honestly what it was was when we moved uh, DirecTV wasn't going to be able to get out there for like a week or something like that and she was crazy about her shows so Cable was able to get there quicker which is why she got that but, uh, even growing up with my mom back when Satellite did have like a when Satellite first came around it did have issues there was you know cable like the signal would go out you know with bad weather but uh, it has improved so much since then even back then though, my mom lost it. I mean, when it would snow really heavily and build up on the dish, she would lose it. And worst case scenario, one time we had to go out and just, you know, dust the dish off with a, I think a little push broom or something like that and it worked perfectly fine after. But that was probably going on 10, 12 years ago now. So uh, yeah, I do highly recommend DirecTV. I can't wait to go back to it. I miss it. It's so much better than cable, and uh, the fuel to the fire for this video is now that I have cable, it shows all these stupid, like when I had DirecTV, it showed DirecTV ads, I don't understand it, but now that I have cable, I get a lot of cable ads, like I already have it, why are you advertising, you know, it doesn't make sense, but all the cable ads, all they say is, oh hey, you know, Go with cable, because dish sucks. You'll lose signal. It's terrible. 99% of customers report tons of issues. I just seen one the other day, uh, which made me think about making this video. It was like, hey, look outside. If there's a chance of rain, uh, two-thirds of customers with uh, something like two-thirds of satellite customers are going to be without TV for a while. 
That's how unreliable it is. Go with reliable cable. You'll never lose signal. Yeah, that's a joke. That is a very big joke.